Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gava QSA. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to measure the voltage on your cell phone. In this case, we have an iPhone 5C and we have an iPhone 6. So, in this case, I'm going to teach you a little bit in theory how it is done. And after that, we are going to jump in in the practice. So, first of all, if your cell phone is not turning on, the first thing that you should do is try to measure the voltage in the battery. If the battery is dead, you may have to replace it by a new one. So in this case, we have a phone that is working, the other is dead. So that way we are going to measure with the multimeter. So you have to have one in order to make the, the work. So first of all, I'm going to show you something very simple. So here is the, um, the battery, you have to have 3.8 volt so that is the normal voltage and when you have the, the battery you will see that it comes uh, with a little cable and a little connector in this side so when you have that what you have to grab in this case we have the multimeter in this drawing and you have to use the positive and the negative you have to connect one connector to one connect to the negative or to the to the positive and that way you can measure remember to choose dc and the multi multimeter so i'm going to show you in the practice how it is done so if the battery is completely dead like it doesn't have any voltage you have to replace it and usually like in in the cars the cars usually they have a battery of course they have 12 volts when the battery is low you may have maybe six seven eight volts but you always you always have something so in this case we have an example that the battery is completely dead so if it doesn't have even one volt because even instead of having 3.8 it may have like two volts or something like that it might be kind of normal but if you don't have anything the battery might have some very big issue so let's jump in in the practice so you can see how it is done okay here we have the phone like i told you before as you can see it says 3.82 or 3.8 is the same thing so that is the the voltage that you should have if the battery is fully charged uh, here we have another phone so that I took apart as you can see it's all broken so uh, we are going to, to make the, the test so in order to open the phone if you if you want you can buy one of these if you don't know where just let me know in the section below in the comment and I can send you the link and what you do is just open up uh, I mean you use the suction cup and then you press and then you open it so if the screen is very broken maybe you're not going to be able to use something like that but it will be useful for another thing that I'm going to teach you worst case scenario you can try to use maybe a blade to try to pry it a little bit and then that way you can do the same so in this case we are going to use this to keep it open so you do this all the time in this case it doesn't matter because the, the screen is already broken and we have to replace the whole thing but if you have a a good screen just try to keep it standing like like that so you won't break the the flex so what we what we are going to do right now we're going to use the nail so we are going to uh, disconnect this usually there is a little piece of metal uh, is uh, that it has uh, two screws so you remove that and then you can remove this so we're going to use the multimeter like I said like I told you before you have to uh, put it in this uh, symbol is B as a Victor and then this line as you can see here so that the way it, it means is on DC now we're going to use the, um, the ends and we're going to put one end in one place and the other in the other one and as you can see we have 3.8 volts so that means uh, it's great uh, we are 
in we're using the right contact otherwise you will see a, a, a minus sign as you can see it's fine now I'm going to invert it so you can see what I'm talking about uh, here you see you see the the minus here this is minus 3.8 so if you're not using the right polarity you will see this so once you have done that we are going to do the same with this iPhone, this iPhone 6 uh, this iPhone is completely dead, it doesn't turn on at all so we are going to measure both ends and you will see that we are not going to have any voltage as you can see it's dead dead, the battery is dead so this phone needs to be replaced, the, the battery and if we connect this, I don't know, maybe the the battery will. I mean, I, I don't know if the the screen will work at this point because it's very it's very bad. But as you can see, uh, there is few few light. As you can see, the screen is completely scratched. But you see, the the battery works and the phone it should work as well. So once I get the new screen. I uh, will be able to, to fix the, the phone, but that will be for another class. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends. If someone else has to fix their phone because the, it is not turning on, so that is one quick uh, trick to know before doing something else. So if you have any question, leave me a comment in the section below and see you in the next class.